guys welcome back to my channel when tay talk i am tay and i am here for another segment of here we go with the bullshit okay got a couple of topics for you let's get into them okay but before i get into the mess let's get into this other mess okay like this video subscribe to the channel Okay, we're almost at 600. Okay, let's get over 600 and then over 750 and then to 1,000. You know how I go. So let's do that. Okay, and then um, click the bell notifications. Okay, yep. Sounds good. Are you listening? Just do it, people. Okay, just do it. We don't mind. Them subscriptions won't hurt nobody. Okay? Move, Cookie. Oh, y'all want to see Cookie. Let me get Cookie up here. Say hi! Now she want to be shy. Say hi, Cookie. We'll get down. So there, y'all see Cookie. Now she want to act shy. Y'all see her little sweater? <laughs> Oh God, anyway, um, everything on the channel is alleged and in my opinion, okay, and for entertainment purposes only, we only over here to laugh, okay, we don't want no mess in the comments, good stuff, okay, let's move on, first up, we got Destiny, child, Destiny got her a man, Colonel Moses or whatever his name is is still going strong. They still going strong. And he is cute. Okay, I wonder how tall he is. Who knows? But um Destiny. What is wrong with you? Don't you got some other things to do besides entertaining the damn man like finding a damn job? Why don't you get in a damn relationship with a damn employee? You ever heard of that? Since you claim you was such a six-figure bitch while before you was with LaBerrick or whatever the case may be, can you go back? Because they're saying that you got to move out the house. You didn't get it refinanced in enough time, and you got to go. And LeBaron been holding you down and, you know, I guess allowing you to stay there and they're sending the time, but you still, you know, haven't gotten it refinanced or anything. I wonder, has he been paying all that time? And maybe that's why she don't receive any spout, um, not spousal support. Um, because can we even call that a marriage? The judge probably was like, get the hell out of here with some damn spousal support. Why she don't get any child support? And plus, you know, word on the curve is that the little baby is with him most of the time. So you got time to entertain this new damn man. You need to find you some employment. Okay? You got too much going on that's falling down for you to be bringing out a damn man and uh, putting out a relationship. People willing to help somebody that's single, single woman. But they ain't going to be too offering if you got a man on the side of you that he ain't helping you with shit. And y'all so in love and he over there brushing your damn hair. Is that all he doing for you is brushing your hair? I don't know. This ain't looking right because at least he could have given you that damn brush and put it in that empty ass beauty supply store. Let you sell it. Give you some damn, at least you'll have one brush on the damn shelf. I'm not going to worry myself with Destiny. Destiny got her a man and he fine, but he might be broke. We already know how the, the fine ones be. Most of the time. Let me move on. Next up, we got, um, oh, Slaw. Cha. 
Did y'all see Slaw live? I think Hey Girl Hey and Empress them had them on um had it on their channels. But she basically accused the mama of selling the dog. What she say? Somebody took the dog. She did the air quotes and everything. Mama was right there in the house and she right there by the window and shit. Cause you can hear the mama in the kitchen probably cooking. And then why the mama come out there and get knots? That mama must know that slow is slow. Cause she get the boy like he ain't, she ain't doing nothing. Why she can't keep him? Child, we don't know. So now, you know, it looks like the case is solved. That mama probably saw that dog. That's what it's looking like. Even Slaw don't believe that. Because why would you leave a little cute little dog like that outside the um outside the gas station or something? And what she walked to the gas station? What she was getting some loose cigarettes? What was she? <laughs> Slaw, your mama ain't got no car either. Why would she walk to the gas station? Or she left the dog in the car. Well, why wouldn't she lock the doors? What the hell wrong with y'all? Y'all something up with that damn dog. This story ain't adding up. So we'll continue this um, investigation. Okay? Let's move on. Next up, we have Melody and... Melody? And Mark Tell little court case um i'm hearing that it must have been postponed or something like that some people were saying melody didn't look like she was in good spirits on her live earlier um i think she might have just been exhausted like tired i don't think it was because of the court case because um i don't think no judge in their white mind would would even entertain giving martel full custody and i don't know but i don't still don't understand why they keep postponing it if he not bringing his financial do documents then what is going on i'm not understanding that part either but again since maybe the judge had ordered him to get counseling and he hadn't got it yet maybe they're playing it close with him because they probably know he off his rocker so maybe that's why they're giving him like all these chances in the world can you imagine how the millimeters will stalk that judge <laughs> If the judge got him full custody, those millimeters would be after, okay? That judge would have to go into witness protection. And so would Martell and them kids because <laughs> somebody had been and got the kids and took them right back to Mel. <laughs> like, we'll handle Martell. <laughs> go on with your mama. believe it can y'all imagine that i don't want to let's move on we gonna still keep mail up in prayer that whatever her desired outcome is that's what it is okay or you know what her desired outcome would be what's best for her kids so whatever is best for her kids i feel and her desire would be the same okay um, next we have Melanie on live earlier and she pulled in some, um, a, a grandmother, um, onto her live. So the lady was so happy and everything to even be on a live. So she was saying how, you know, her and her family have been displayed. She's taking care of some of her grandkids and stuff like that, um, because of a fire and it just, like you can see like in melody like whatever she was thinking as soon as the lady said that or whatever it was she it was like something connected with her and that lady and those millimeters and not, not i ain't even gonna say are they all millimeters but you know her fans and stuff like that that was on her live all they band together asking for that lady cash app and all that type of stuff melody said the people want your cash out what is it she gave it to him. So you know that lady is getting fully blessed tonight. Today, today, tonight, whatever. Like that was so nice of her. And she was like, she was already thinking it before they even put it in there when she heard it because she can relate to that because they had a house fire and they lost everything or whatever and they was displaced. So she understood it. 
And then she got emotional a little bit too at the end because the lady was giving her so many words of encouragement and stuff like that and telling her how proud she was of her. And then, you know, just for her going through what she's going through and still able to encourage somebody else, like, I guess that just resonated with Melanie and she was emotional and stuff like that. I'm on there. I don't know why it is, but every time I get my lashes done, it's like an emotional day. It's like something is making me cry because I'm on there, eyes wet in a mug. And I'm like, <laughs> looking like destiny. <laughs> Try not to get get them wet, cause ooh baby, when these suckers get wet, hmm, eyes be looking like damn cherry tomatoes. Okay, we gonna end that part there. So yeah, that lady, um, the lady was crying and everything. She was so thankful and everything, and she was just saying how she's always the one to help somebody, and you know she never really um get it back or whatever. So. That was, I'm telling y'all, that's just how Melanie is. Like, she seems very genuine to me, her and her mama. So, I don't know when people are like, oh, that's a front. She just, she just that. No, I, it's not a front. It's not a front. She didn't have to do that. She didn't even have to tell the lady what the people were saying in the comments. She could have sat there and act like she didn't see it. So, no, I, I don't think it is. she's fake about that type of stuff anyway. I think she's just a given person. And it's a lot of people out there that's like that. And it's a lot of people out there that like to take advantage of people like that too. But we're not going to talk about those bums, right? Let's go. Speaking of bums, let's get into the Scots. Tisha and Marissa are really quick, okay? So, Own did um, drop a little deleted scene um, of them in the car on their way to the restaurant um, the other day. I think it was yesterday. And let's get into that for a second, okay? So, this part they showed, this was like, a, like I said, additional scenes from the, um, the car conversation that Tisha and Marceau had. Here. Anyway, so Marceau is saying he's not trying um to read Martel's mind. I don't know what Tisha said before then, but he said he's not trying to read Martel's mind. He would just choose his response. So Tisha says, yes, they need a game plan. Marceau says, How are we gonna have a game plan? Marceau. She want a game plan like the one you had with Martel. That's, you know what the, she mean about a game plan. What y'all usually do. That you always go against. You have your own game plan. And Tisha says, um, also that she's not going to let, say anything to Martel. And she thinks that Marceau should reply to him only. And if, she, if he says anything to her disrespectful or approach her, she's not going to respond. So with that being said, was it your plan to approach him or something like that? I thought you said you weren't going to say nothing to him because that's what kickstarted everything. You started and asked them what the fuck did they want what's what's going on what what was this mean about you started you just said you weren't gonna say nothing to him but anyway um and why would um oh she said that she wasn't gonna say anything to him but that's exactly what she did as soon as he sat down. And then why would she think that he would disrespect her? I didn't get that part. Like, what did she mean by that? Like, what did she mean by um, him disrespecting her? 
I wonder has they cut anything out where he probably went off on her ass. Or is it because you've seen how many times he's disrespected Mel and tried to get aggressive with Mel and you think he might do the same thing to you. But it's up when he do it to Mel, you somewhere in the damn background screaming, Mel's not innocent. Mel's not innocent. So, hmm. And if you feel like something about him disrespecting you or approaching you or whatever the case may be, and you feel like that's what put you in danger, why would your husband send you into the lion's den to go have a conversation with him about something that you were going to say no to him that will put him in an upset position where he may get upset with you and clock out on your ass? Why would your husband, this dangerous man, <laughs> don't get me laughing about this damn <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> Marcel says he hopes that that's not going to happen. If it do, what you going to do, Mr. Dangerous Damn Man? <laughs> and he's not going to let another man's words control him, his actions. <laughs> what a <laughs> controlling your actions that day at that damn reopening or rent party was that damn alcohol when the Henny was in the system. You know your ass can't control no damn. You ain't had no actions towards Martel. The only action would be is him beating your ass. <laughs> Since you saw damn danger. <laughs> Nobody's damn life is in danger around your ass except some damn loose ass mosquitoes or some shit like ants and stuff. Insects. Not no human beings. Ain't nobody scared of you but damn. It dangerous me probably. <laughs> be around that damn house bullying them kids and Tisha. MJ probably be getting on his ass. He probably don't do it to MJ. But I guarantee you probably do it to Tisha now. <laughs> anyway, so Tisha says, well, man or woman, after Martel, Martha Barceau said he ain't gonna let no man control his actions, then she like, well, man or a woman. And of course, you know she gotta bring up Mel in this. Y'all not even talking about Mel. What time has Mel ever gotten physical or aggressive with y'all? And so... She says she's not trying um trying to let her take um take her there because she has too much at stake. Tisha, again. What do you have at stake? To lose for one. Don't nobody want Marceau. Don't nobody want your little family. Don't nobody want them damn cars. They all y'all must have got them from the salvage yard. Well, his look good, but yours had the damn cracked-ass windshield, which y'all have traded that one in because everybody noticed it. And that little-ass tiny house, shit, if they did come for that, they'll bring that shit right back to y'all. No, 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 no. That's okay. Once we do the viewing, y'all y'all stay, y'all, nope. Get them back in here. Get them back in here. Oh, she got something to damn lose. You ain't got shit to damn lose with this lawsuit that's coming up. That's what you about to damn lose. <laughs> I can't believe her. Like, she got so much to... What, girl, what you got to lose? <sighs> anyway. 
Marceau says they don't need a game plan. All they need is to be consistent. Tisha said, yeah, but it seems like whenever things get heated, you talking to me and at me. Yeah, always against your ass. He ain't never for you. That's the game plan she talking about, Marceau. Y'all being consistent together. But Marceau's going to keep up with the damn consistency that he's been accustomed to. And that's kissing Martel's ass and Mel's. Okay? So, <laughs> she said, we've been married for 16 years. I bet she know the day, the hour, the minute, the second. And, and she knows what's at risk. We know not no damn divorce would need to be at risk. <laughs> Why well, say, okay, it's cool. I won't say a single word to your ass, okay? <laughs> I'll let you do what you got to do. I won't give you no advice or nothing. That's because he knew what the hell he had going on and what he was about to do. He said, I'll let you <laughs> handle this shit on your own. Yeah, you, you got the flow. You do you. Okay? Because I'm damn sure going to do me. And after you do you, when I finish what I got to say, we going to see if your ass need me to jump in and tell you something this time. <laughs> Because when I tell you, that mofo threw that girl under the bus so damn quick. He threw her under like the buses was at the schoolyard. You know how they have them all lined up. I bet she rolled under every last one of them damn buses that was waiting in the little carpool line for the buses. She is a damn fool. And he, the way he was looking, since y'all been married for 16 years, Tisha, you should have known that he was looking like he was about to be on some bullshit. You should have peeped that, but you didn't. Okay? <laughs> he said, yeah, you about, to <laughs> you about to have an opportunity to, to, to do your own thing in five, four, three, two, and one. Hey, Martell and Martin Mel. <laughs> Y'all, what do y'all think is going on here? Do y'all think Marce Marceau had that plan together already? He had that plan. Did, did y'all see a look in his face? Like he wanted to push her out the car. He probably thought wanted to have one of them eject buttons to just push and she just boing, pop out the car. <laughs> Destiny and her little man. Do you think she do y'all think she should have went public with this man since he ain't helping her and she going through all this financial stuff, but she can't want to go public with a man? Why? If whatever little thing you could have get from LeBeric, she must not been getting nothing from him because at least if you wouldn't have went public with no man, at least he probably still would have helped you a little bit. Cause he, you know, she probably could warm him up to get, you know, a little thing thing or something from him and, you know, give him some and, you know, he help her a little bit and warm him up. But if you got that man and you all out here, he combing your hair and shit. Do y'all think that's all he do is a stylist for her? Do y'all think he help her with any bills? What y'all think? Put it down in them damn comments. Okay. The slaw dog. Do y'all think um slaw mama sold her? I wonder what she said. She probably sold that damn dog for a bag of groceries. Shit, as poor as her damn daughter been looking. I know she wanted to feed her. What y'all think? What y'all think happened in that custody case today? Uh, court trial yesterday or whatever. Do y'all think the judge would give Martell full custody? Do y'all think the millimeters will harass that judge if he could do anything against her? What y'all think? How far y'all think the millimeters will go? Because you know they ride for mail. 
I think I'm like par millimeter too, anyway. That's why I even thinking about it. <laughs> So what y'all think? And wasn't that nice of Mel to get at um um how them they get a lady um the um cash out and stuff? Wasn't that nice of her? Hmm. What y'all think? Y'all think the Mel is a genuine giving person like that, or do y'all think she's full of it? Because I think she's genuine. I think it's honest. She's just genuine. Let me know in the comments. That's all I got for y'all, okay? What we got to do? Like the video. Subscribe to the channel, okay? You can click the bell notification so you'll know when I drop new videos. Oh, and guess what happened? Um, Sunday when I was around here trying to clean up and stuff. Um, you know, I be listening to my little YouTube all the time. And, you know, I'm cleaning up so I can't get to it. So I have to listen to some of the ads and stuff. So, like, two times when the ads went off, guess who video came on? Yeah, your girl tags. <laughs> yeah. All right. So keep that video, these videos in the algorithm and subscribe to the channel, Okay. We kind of slowed on. We was getting them fast. Let's get back on track. Let's go. Let's get it. Wednesday talk all day. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.